Hey, hello to everybody who joined the channel. This week was full of different events. Ticketmaster got hacked, Elon Musk raised $6 billion for AI, and the new tech industry started its rise. This is Holland, we are talking about tech and startups. See you yourself, and let's get started. Live Nation, the entertainment colossus, has announced that its ticketing subsidiary, Ticketmaster, fell victim to a huge cyber attack. The relation came late on Friday in a filing with government regulators, just as the markets were closing for the weekend. According to the Live Nation, the breach took place on May 20. A cyber criminal allegedly put the company's user data up for sale on the dark web. While the company did not specify whose personal information was affected, it is believed to involve customers as well. The reason behind this company delay for over a week in making a public announcement remains unclear. Live Nation's statement mentioned that they had detected unauthorized activity within a third-party cloud database environment containing company data. The name of the third-party cloud provider was conspicuously absent from the statement as well, which is a little bit suspicious for me. However, a spokesperson for a Ticketmaster, who preferred to remain anonymous but responded by the company's media email, told TechCrunch that the compromised database was hosted on a Snowflake, a Boston-based cloud storage and analytics firm. The Ticketmaster representatively did not elaborate on the methods used to extract the data from the Snowflake system as well. So we have to guess what went wrong and what was the data effect as well. In a move that surprises absolutely no one and delights those who love seeing the cash combust, Elon Musk's latest brainchild, XAI, has raked in a whooping $6 billion in funding. Heavy hitters like Whaler, A16Z, and Sequoia are eagerly tossing their money onto the XAI roulette table with Musk's at helm spinning the wheel. Frankly, I think it is absolutely bonkers. These investors appear to be swimming in the cash and devoid of skepticism. I can only imagine the pitch. Imagine an AI so powerful it makes HAL 9000 look like a Roomba. And of course, they threw money at it, because why not? Honestly, I can't fathom the logic. What makes this particularly wild is that this $6 billion jackpot is just the latest chapter in Musk's epic saga of how to get the world to find my sci-fi dreams. The more stories that emerge about Musk, the more you would think investors would start to hesitate, but they are not. Apparently, this is why I am just a video host and not a venture capitalist. I would think twice before betting on the guy who brought us the self-driving cars that occasionally miss fire trucks and rockets that sometimes land, but also sometimes explode in a spectacular fashion. Mam Depot, a startup that just launched earlier this week, is setting out to create an entirely new category dubbed Mam Tech. Founder Alex Tobb explained that Mam Depot's mission is to compile a hub, our exhaustive archive of every meme out there. Top emphasized that Meme Depot is distinct from platforms like Cheeseburger and Know Your Mam, which he considers as media companies, though. For instance, Know Your Mam is where you go to understand the meaning or the backstory of a specific meme. At the same time, Meme Depot is something like a theme that focuses on organizing and discovering memes. Think of it as a hub where you can browse through every Kim Kardashian mem in one place. Amanda Silberin wrote an engaging piece about the launch, highlighting the supposed trend of keeping a collection of reaction GIFs on your desktop or your phone. I have never done this, and probably this just underscores my lack of coolness? I don't know. Meme Depot aims to be the ultimate version of that folder a waste, well-organized repository for all the memes in the world. When it comes to the monetization, Meme Depot offers an intriguing approach. You can use the cryptocurrency by a pass to a meme party, essentially, for example, a chat room. And if you're an early participant in a popular meme party, your pass could potentially earn you money. Or not, who knows. However, you can still enjoy Meme Depot's offerings without delving into the crypto aspect. Overall, Meme Depot seeks to be the go to place for meme enthusiasts to explore and enjoy the internet's ever evolving meme landscape. This were all the news for the week. Keep being memeful, do not lose your data in cyber attacks, and stay tuned for the next episodes. I will see you soon. Bye! Yeah, you know,